So my plan is that we are going to make a pair of wings and what I'd like to do is to make it using feathers that all of you have made. And um, Kelsey Montague always focuses in on the theme of what lifts you, like what inspires you. So some of the people who worked on their feathers here, you can see what inspires this person. Some people went with this kind of an idea of what inspires them. And uh, here we can look at some of the things on here of what inspires this person here. But then some people just decided to do things that were decorative, just a whole bunch of different designs in each section, or uh, like this person here or here. Now you may wonder where in the world did these people get all these ideas from? Well, one, they can get them out of their own brain, but another one is that I have what are called these Zentangle cards. And on the one side, it will show you the pattern and then on the other side, when you flip it over, it will show you how to make it step by step. The red always shows you what to add next. So here's one that looks like this. And then when you flip it over, it will show you step by step by step by step how to make it. Now, do you have to use the Zentangle cards? No, you don't. But would you like to try it? Sure. Uh, you know, some, some of you are going to want to do blaze your own trail and some of you um, might want to try something new. I noticed a lot of people um, enjoyed mixing um, using some Zentangles and some of their own. Now you'll notice in the bins, after you get your feather, you are going to have three different um, widths of tip. We have this broad tip. We have what they call fine and then we have what we call super fine right there. So I really like it when I vary them, um, meaning that I change it. So if I wanted mine to look like a feather having a line coming down like this, and maybe I wanted to make it look a little, a little more feathery here with sections, I can do that. Um, some kids liked going around their edge one more time to make it a little bit darker. And then playing with the theme of what lifts you, you can start to think of what are things that inspire you. So uh, if I were to say, well, let's say this while I'm thinking about something, I can just do some design. So I can do my typical swirly design here and fill in that section with that. But also remember, you can do something like this, but look at how different that's gonna look just if I use a different pen. Say over here I was gonna do the same design. Look at how different that's going to look with a different tip. So it is kind of fun to vary the size of, of the pen so that you can get different effects. Now, I like that. Now, let's say that um, I'm going to work on one of these entangles. Well, then I would look over here for one that I like. And maybe I would choose this one here. And so in this section right here, if I was going to do that, I'm going to start with these little squares, apparently. And then it's telling me to make a circle in between them. It turned out ovalish, but we'll go with it. So I'm adding these in. And then it's telling me to do a line going around here. And then it's telling me to do it over here. So that's kind of cool to be able to learn a new type of Zentangle. I'm not following it very carefully, but you kind of get the idea. You can go ahead and fill it in if you want to darken it in. Or I could say that something that inspires me always are flowers. So maybe I would come over here and I would start to draw a flower just as an idea. You noticed earlier that there were people that drew things like basketballs and all these different things. Now, I think I'm gonna vary again the pen size. I'm gonna to go to the super fine. Now, what I can't wait is to put these feathers together and for us to be able to make a big set of wings that are built with everyone's feathers. 
And then what we'll do next week after I've filled it up is that we will um, take pictures of each of you standing in between the wings. And you'll notice that I did them on a green background. That's because we are Westminster Christian School. And it is one of our main colors, you know. So I thought that would be nice to be able to do that. If you have time at the end, it would be oh so nice if you would be willing to cut out your feather. And uh, so there are scissors in your bins for you to be able to do that. And if you wouldn't mind, make sure that your name is in right in the center of your feather so that when we do cut it out, we can still see your name. All right. Have fun.